if the Council on Foreign Relations was influencing your state leaders, you would want to know about it, right? The, the Council on Foreign Relations is an organization that has for over a century tried to destroy the sovereignty of America uh, by regionalizing it into a, um, a government that's under a world government. Uh, those of us that have studied the Council on Foreign Relations know this, and, and so it's important to know if the Council on Foreign Relations is working in your local area. And one group has alerted me the last few years, and that group is the United States Global Leadership Coalition. And I'm going to show you real quick that if you go to their advisory council page, you can see that there is a list of people on their advisory council. And I've checked these to see if any of them are Council on Foreign Relations members. And guess what? Over half of the people on the advisory council for the U.S. Global Leadership Coalition are members of the Council on Foreign Relations. And you have people like Hillary Clinton. You can see on the left side of the page she is on there. You have people like Henry Kissinger. He's on the right side of the page. You can see him there. And so this is not a trusted organization. And why is it important for us to know what this organization is? Well, there are conservative leaders that participate in the state advisory groups for the U.S. Global Leadership Coalition. For instance, in the state I live in, South Carolina, South Carolina has an advisory committee. And on that committee are a lot of people who call themselves conservatives. In the far right side here, you can see the name of Luke Byers. Luke leads a group called First Tuesday Strategies. My congressman, William Timmons, was helped by First Tuesday Strategies. They list him as a client. And my, my congressman calls himself a conservative. Uh, there are also other conservative congressmen that First Tuesday Strategies has helped. And if you go to the First Tuesday Strategies website, you'll actually see that they list as one of their clients the U.S. Global Leadership Coalition. Well, I was able to ask... South Carolina State Treasurer Curtis Loftus about his participation in the U.S. Global Leadership Coalition South, Advis South Carolina Advisory Committee, and he could not believe he was part of this. He said he had never been to a meeting, and he did not even know why his name was on the advisory committee list. And you can see it. It's right here on the left side of the page. And I'm going to show you that video so you can see what he said. Yes, sir. And you're a member of the U.S. Global Leadership Coalition South, Advisor, South Carolina Advisory Committee. On its national councils, Hillary Clinton and Henry Kissinger, both um, you know, Marxists that are trying to destroy America. Why did you join the South Carolina Advisory Committee? For I, I'm not sure I'm on that. What's the name of it again? I don't, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not no. Karen, have you write that down? I'm not. No. I, I can verify you something. Yeah. I've, seen the, I've never. I've never been to a meeting. I, I don't know anything. That, is that the one that DeSantis is doing something with about ESG? No. No. Yeah. The US they, they list you as a member of it. No, I'm not. Well, you know, they list Vivek Ramaswamy as a yeah. member of the. Uh, no, I, I can I, promise I you. No. I mean, they might have put my name on it, but I'm glad to know this, but I didn't, I've never, heard, I don't know the organization. And I would never, ever be in anything with Hillary Clinton. Yeah, there was a lot of people in South Carolina that are Republicans that are part of the organization. They're listed on the committee. And at the, at the national top. So, you know, Matt Moore, former Republican chairman, he actually went to go work for them right after he left um, his spot as the chairman of the Republican Party. I didn't know. I will. I've known Matt Moore for a long time, and uh, we we're professional, but we're not friends. And first Tuesdays is Warren Tompkins, and Warren and I have been around the block many times, and hardly ever on the same size. I will look into that because we're not supposed to be on there. And, uh, and uh, yeah. yes, ma'am. 
I know you find this video quite concerning of Curtis Loftus not even knowing that he was listed as a member of the South Carolina Advisory for the U.S. Global Leadership Coalition. So I have a lot of questions, and I wonder why his name today is still on the list. But I encourage you, study the Council on Foreign Relations. Go to shopjbs.org. Again, that's shopjbs.org. And order this great reprint that helps explain the Council on Foreign Relations so you can become an expert and you can expose the Council and, and what it's doing and, and, and make people scratch their heads. Why is the U.S. Global Leadership Coalition led by people like Hillary Clinton, Henry Kissinger, and why do they have advisory committees in every state? And a lot of those advisory committee members, they say they're against the New World Order. They say they're against the One World Government. But they're listed on the committees. Uh, if you went through the advisory committee, the National Advisory Committee for the U.S. Global Leadership Coalition, you can actually see that Rick Santorum is part of the advisory committee. He calls himself a conservative, presents himself as somebody who stands for America. Well, why is he standing with Hillary Clinton? Why is he standing with Henry Kissinger? That's what we should be concerned about. Remember, it's, it's not what you know, it's what you do with what you know. So please go out there and do something with what you just learned.